We're here at Rhodes Airport and this is the first day that repatriation flights have begun and you can see various different groups here. So behind me are people who are queuing uh, for their EasyJet flight. Some of these people have confirmed seats or other, uh, others maybe just queuing up to see if they can get a seat. Uh, and then if we walk around you can see here people have created makeshift camps. So some of the people here are from Scotland, they're waiting to see if they can get home uh, this evening. They've been pushed off flights already. Uh, escaped the fires over the weekend, told to leave their hotels, sleeping in schools, a familiar story now. And as we continue our way through the airport, you can see here this bank of kiosks, and that's actually where the UK government has set up a support point. So we've been watching people going to the help desk at the end there uh, throughout the day, asking, are there any flights? What can I do? and people from the government trying to help them. Now, there is a lot of frustration from people who are in this airport. We just spoke to one person who was actually due back on a flight on Saturday night, so before the fires had got out of hand. He came to the airport, the flight uh, was delayed. Uh, he's still here on Monday, and I've just overheard that he's been told he's probably not going home today. So a lot of frustration, people asking, what are these companies doing? Everyone I've spoken to is extremely complimentary about the support they've had from the Greek communities. Many have opened up their schools or their homes to give them somewhere to sleep, to give them some food. But they're wondering what's happening to those companies that have taken thousands of pounds of their money for these holidays and now they feel they've left them totally abandoned.